Hey guys, welcome to the new video of AG Framework. So first of all, we are installing our new Quasar Advanced Inventory System, so you need to visit their official website. I'll provide you the link in description here. You can see I'm at the website. After reaching through the website, you want to click on Script section. Here you can see multiple scripts, but today we are installing the Advanced Inventory System. Just click on it. Here you can see the features of Quasar Inventory Scripts and also the previews, skill systems and missions and many more with the crafting also you don't need to worry about anything it's already pre-conflict on the basic system here you can see the preview with the proper attachment system also the unique system is you can also mark any item as a unique rare or mythic type with proper skill system after that just click on add to cart make sure you are connected with your discord and cfx re here you can see the product is added. Click on checkout here. You can see we are at the checkout page. Make sure Quasar provides us some special coupon code to our customers. If you are having any issues, you can also join their Discord. And for the coupon code, you need to join our Discord. I will provide you the coupon code in my Discord. It will give you extra discount. Make sure to join our Discord. And if you're any having issues, you can create a ticket. Then continue your payment after availing your discount you will receive the script in your key mastered here. You can see as our advanced inventory, just click on download, save it to your computer. That's it, open the inventory, just click on extract here based on your requirement. Here you can see the multiple documentations, make sure to go through all of them. So first of all, we need to see the readme section. It's the important thing for the readme. It will guide you at the initial stage of installation. I'll also guide you with the details and briefings of the loops in this script so you don't get any issues. Now you can see the all basic details and overview. Here you can see the documentation pages are there, so I'll just redirect to the documentation page when I am installing it. That's it, close. This file, open the inventory here. You can see the suckle, just click on it. Click on QB SQL open with Visual Studio code, copy it, and open your SQL and paste it to your designated database. As you can see, I selected my database, then paste it and hit run to initialize the database query and then repress it. That's it. The SQL is easily installed without any issues. Close the SQL file as I am using QB. I am using the QB SQL file. If you are using ESX, you can use the ESX one. It's very simple. Don't need to change anything. Then we need to go to the swap section for the swap integration. It is a basic thing. So I'll firstly integrate the swap system, then I'll go for the main integration. Here is the soft section. Go to the shared section in config.lua. Here you can see the multiple language support as the default. Support would be English. So make sure to select it out which type of system you are using in language. As I am using the target system, I will just make it true. And also make sure to ensure that if you are having QB or aux target, it will automatically in integrate with that. So you don't need to worry about that same go to the inventory folder. If you are using any type of script that required the inventory image path, you need to just copy this path and paste it and replace it your QB one. And make sure remember that you need to delete your old QB shop, QB inventory and QB weapon Elua weapon folder. After that, here you can see the two framework integration. First is the ESX, of course. ESX is the basics. ESX standard version and QB core with the both framework support. And also it's run with standalone and also the QBox framework. Here you can see the swap interactions. If you are using text UI, you need to just leave it the E section here. Or if you are not using the text UI, just I'll suggest you to remove the E section. It will give you the more clean look in that interaction. So as I am just doing for one and leaving one for, that's showing you the difference between both of them. That's it. You don't need to change anything about the soft section. If you are using any type of default consumables a section, as QB consumables or gym consumables, you can integrate their item, but make sure to follow the configurations with the previous QS system. That's it. It has multiple options for job status. Also here, you can see the full status graded with system you can select the grade and also the required license system. If you are using a weapon store, you can just create a required item and just put that item. It will only open the inventory with this item specifically. That's it. Make sure to disable that debug system as I have not disabled it. I'll just disable it for now. Then go to the function. Lua, I'll suggest you if you are using function. 
Lua, you don't need to change anything. It is the basic one. Don't need to change anything about that. That's it. The main system has worked without any issues. And now we'll go for the inventory. The swap is ready here. You can see the although the pixel matters, you can add multiple matters as you want to specific damage. I'll go for the configuration here. You can see the multiple configurations. I'll first go to the basic configuration of inventory, same system. It supports multiple languages. Default is English. And here you can see the framework, integrations, ESEX, QB, and QBOX. That's it. You don't have to change anything. It will automatically detect your inventory and code. Then here is the fetch old inventory. If you are having your old inventory and you need to migrate your old data, you can directly make it true and migrate your old data. For now, I am not migrating any of my old data, so I'll just leave it false. Same goes to the target system. I'll suggest you to make sure it's true. And here is the transparent background. Kazar has two options. First is the normal one with the blue theme, or you can change the theme on the UI settings. And second is the transparent one. I'll just make sure you to use the basic one with the theme. If you want to use the transparent, you can use that without any issue. And here is the server name goes to the on your server. I'll just make it like egg and same goes to the progress bar. If you want to use that, just make sure it's true and sound and throw system. You can also disable it. Same goes to the steel player or withdraw weapon. Anything you can just make easily configuration with that. And here is the blocked item for the items, threshold and hardware. You can also just remove it for the hardware. I'll just make it that way so it will automatically select. And here is the blackout level change here. You can see the level changing systems are there for the inventory. You can change any type of level on their in items, but you can also select which one is allowed to change their level here. You can see the option. The phone and money cannot be changed. The level are for the certain reason here. You can see the other configuration for non-slotted items. And second is the pages pause menu. You can enable it or disable it with all the features that the inventory has with them. I'll just make all of them true. So, so you, the everything without any issues, same as the item as closing, you can use the item as closing. And so use the proper documentation and item representation from the CASA document. After that, just close it. You don't need to change anything about that. It's already pre-config. Or if you are, make sure, uh, if you are scroll down, just disable the debug for now. I'll just disable it. Same goes to the prefix inventory is the basic prefix command. And same goes to the bypass system. If you are using QB inventory, it will just make it true. It will automatically bypass your inventory. Don't need to worry about that. And here is the binding for the inventory open. You can change it easily without any issues. I'll just make it default for the better interaction. That's it, close it, here's the crafting. Lua, same goes to the crafting. You can toggle it on or off, depends on your needs. And same goes the representation system. I'll just make it false for the sewing. Use the basic crafting system. You don't need to change anything. You can add it any slots, any items. As you can see, you can create your own structure. Of course, another is the garbage Lua. It is the basic prop system if you are using Kazar's garbage system. You can find it well without any issues, and it's the selling. Lua, if you are selling any item, you can select the selling store easily without any issues, just like 24-7 or item seller as an example. And you can select the money on cash or bank or any black money. You can want, you can directly add it without any issue. You don't have to add any extra resources for. That same goes to the storage system here. You can see the cigarette box has their own cigarette like amount of 20 cigarette. If you are using this box, you'll get 20 cigarette. So it's, you can add any type of item easily without any use. And here is the vehicle. Log for the vehicle management and the storage. Also here you can see the glove box trunks are automatically defined. Then also the custom add any storage or trunk, just like it's added. Their does slot is five, but max weight is multiply high. So you can block the engine systems as for the which one is the back end, back engine or not. So it will support the trunk on that system after that. Here is a vending dot Lua. If you are using any vending item, it will show up there without any issues. Then is the main thing weapon. Make sure to follow this line. And also here you can see the remove tint after removing it. So I'll just make it false. I don't need to change anything about that. Also the force onto the magazine on magazine. It's a 
When the clipping is empty, Pillar can use the another one, you can enable it. It's called the basic system is auto reload system. If you are having the mut, it will automatically reload. If you want to disable the auto reload, you can just make it fall without any issues. Here is all attachments. You can add any attachment for your need. It's already suited with the multiple attachment system. Here you can see, so you don't need to worry about the attachment support for adding another. Additionally, for anything, it's already support the variations. That's it. The basic configuration is over. Now we'll go for the share section. Here is the item, Lua. You need to item, add the item at the item list. I'll show you the items, how to add this in this video. Also, it's a proper weapon. Lua, same system for the, if you are using the cubicle, you know, you need to add them both item and weapon in both of the place on the cubicle. Same go to this, you need to add them also here. In the basic function, one you don't need about the changes. That's it now, make sure to install the sequel. I already installed it. I don't need to install it again. That's it. Just copy this file and paste it to your main server directory as I am already pasted it here. You can see, so if you are using anything, you can also add the DLCs here. You can see the DLCs for armor backpacks, license for pen draw extract. So you can add this on the default section. You don't have to worry about that. Then I'll show you the documentation for the item adding system. Here you can see that I am at the Chiazer documentation. You can use the Quasar GPT for your basic query solve, and I'll provide you the link in description for the documentations. First of all, make sure if you are having these resources. First of all, Oxlib and OXMySQL and MaxR64 is the recommendations and requirement for the scripts. Then here is the game build requirement. It should be the above on this game build. Here is the basic database for both of the ESX and QB core. As you can see, we already installed it. We don't need to change it. And here is the main thing for the item and core systems. If you're using ASX, you need to just choose this KV core for that, and she works for that. I'll show you the basic demonstration for the Quasar inventory here. You can see the just copy it and paste it to your item, DALUA, so automatically fits it without any issue. Make sure it is the cubicle version. I'll show you that, how you can add it, just open the file, go to the here. You can see I already installed the Quasar version of QB core and then go to the item dial UA. And here you can see I already pasted it the organized way of the item system. So you don't need to worry about that. And for the clothing items here, you can find that just copy it and paste it to down anywhere on your item. Here you can see because I already pasted, I don't paste it again. That's it. You don't need to change anything. Additionally for that, and also you can change the key mappings and key binding easily. Here you can see the proper demonstration of key bindings where you can find the key binding for that. That's it for any type of user guide. You can follow their official documentation page. Make sure to avail the discount, extra discount on the purchase of Quasar. That's it. Now we'll go for the in-game preview. Let's see how the Quasar inventory works in game. Hey guys here, you can see I am in game. So first of all here, you can see the Quasar Advanced Inventory is working properly without any issues. Here you can see pressing tab button and opening with the proper animation. Here you can see the all tabs and sections working properly. First of all, first is our information tab. Here you can see the time date and player quantity and also the slots as I am selected to four slots. So that's why it's showing one out of four. And here you can see the information table with the proper play Mark, sort, and jobs, and all details with server announcement. Details everything here. You can see the Discord into link. You can add your link easily without any issues. And then we'll go for the map here. You can see the proper map is showing without any issues. After that, there is a setting tab here. You can see the direct setting of your game without any issues after that here. You can see the main inventory tab here. You can see your character is lively showing up. And here you can see the weapons, and here you can see the proper attachment sections and within the animations. I'll just click on attachment here. You can see the all type of attachments. You can add it here without any issues with the proper serial number. Durabilities in all are integrated without any issues. Same goes to the lockpicks and other things. As I'll just click on throw, it will throw the items here. You can see it's throughout the item. As you can see, I can pick it up easily and also you can add their own prop for the throwing items from the config, as I shown you previously. After that, here is the clothing tab. As I am disabled, the clothing, it's not showing here. 
but you can see the proper clothing here. You can add the own items for the clothing without any issues. Then we will go for the skill tab. As you can see, I already unlocked one tab for the skills. And here I have three skill points left. So as you can see, it just cost me two and I unlocked it. So as you can see, it is the required limit of the HPTK nation. So you can add your own skill system without any issues. After that, here is the mission tab. There you can find all your skills from the mission tab. Just I click on claim. Here you can see I leveled up six and here you can see the level with the proper XP system. As many level as many skills you get. Here you can see I leveled up to eight. You can add the level system without any issue. Also the playing time is lively recording. Here you can see I have six skills point. So it's pretty impressive UI with the proper animations and properly working without any issues. Main tab is setting tab. You can change your primary color without any issue as I'll just leave the default one be blue and I'll just combine one should be little reddish. And you can see also you can set the radius of the border here. You can see the border radius and here is the opacity and you can also change the background theme. It's already provided here. Just um, I reset it and you can see the themes are properly working without any issues here. You can see the proper themes are working. I'll just leave it on blue and just click on escape and it's properly saved here. You can see also it has defaultly soft system, default integrated soft system. Here you can see the soft system is working properly. So without any issues here, you can see here, you can see I am at the shop and here you can see the shop system is working properly without any issue. Here you can see the proper shop system. You can add anything you want. Same goes to the medical system. Alcohol in this next one. Here you can see I got all the items in my inventory. So it's properly working without any issues. So if you are finding any issues, you can just join their discord and open a ticket for the issues. And make sure if you have any other problem, open our Discord server, take it, and for the discount code, make sure to join our Discord server. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video.